morning off. We're going to get started with your first the area this morning. So far, I haven't seen any dense fog advisories other than right over the lake. But what I am seeing is showing up on the radar, and that is this rain. So, yes, it's really from the city on southward toward Mantino. As you can see, we go through Shanahan, and then we get to Plano, just to the south of Naperville right now, and there is that rain, too. Our temperatures, they're well above freezing, so we don't have to worry about frozen forms of precipitation. But I'll tell you what we may have to be looking out for this week, and that's all coming up. Ross? Well, we're off to a pretty quiet start on the expressways and tollways. Very limited overnight road work and very light traffic volume. But we do have one crash off the expressway. It's going to be in southwest suburban Woodridge on International Parkway just east of Joliet Road. And I want to put the weather layer on because we do have some of this misty fog in the south and southwest suburbs. Visibility is still okay. You can still see, but... Just be aware some of those roads might be slick. We'll check it again for you in less than 10 minutes. Terrell. Ross, been up in about 30 minutes. Both Democratic presidential nominees will be fighting hard for Illinois today with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, both stumping in Chicago just a day before the state's primary. Jessica D'Onofrio is live in West Ham, where Hillary will be speaking in just a few hours. Jessica. Tanya, it is the final dash to win Illinois. The two top Democrats will battle it out in the state today. Hillary Clinton will make an appearance where we are here in Chicago. No tickets required. Live in the West Town neighborhood, Jessica D'Onofrio, ABC7. Of updates on air and online, plus an expanded edition of Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock. Right now, Chicago police are looking for the gunman who shot a pregnant woman after his son's murder. Two freshmen at Northwestern University are now charged with hate crimes after spray-painting graffiti in the campus chapel. ...were taken during the robbery just past noon on Saturday at the Citibank at Devon in California. Students at Holy Angels Catholic School will head back to class today, days after a lead scare at the Bronzeville... Bill Talk about the roads this morning. Any real big issues? No, nah, they're a little damp, a little slick, yeah. nothing too horrible. You know. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Right. Yeah, always. Yeah. But even the fog isn't that bad. Yeah. No, we don't have a dense fog advisory anywhere except over the lake. So, Perfect. yeah, we'll get through it. But we have lots to talk about weather-wise. Oh, we can always find something to talk about. I'll show you the visibilities in just a moment. We'll have some showers really lingering into the area until mid-morning. And a few peaks of sun are possible here this afternoon. Take a look at some of the visibilities right now. And you can see we have a few spots where visibility, like O'Hare in Hampshire, less than a mile three-mile visibility over in Whiting, Indiana, over at the lakefront. Our visibility is down to about a mile, as well as over in southwest Michigan, half-mile visibility in Westville. But now, just improving to two miles over Union Pier, and not bad visibility right now at Midway with four miles there that gets you. Well, our high-resolution forecast model continues to bring the rain in the area up until about 9 o'clock this morning. It does linger around. So as we do look at our almanac page today, our average high today is 46, average low is 29. As we look at the temperatures right now, Kenosha at 43, 43 degrees in Zion, 42 degrees in Cary, 44 in Palatine. It is 45 degrees at the lakefront, 46 degrees right now in Lombard. New Lenox at 47, Mantino at 49, 49 degrees in Gary, and 50 degrees currently in Valparaiso. So here is a look at that radar. From the city on south right now, that's where we are primarily seeing this rain. Once we get through this batch of rain here this morning, then we're pretty much done for the day. But I want to talk a little bit about tomorrow and what is going to be going on weather-wise. The morning hours, we start off dry. But then watch what happens in the afternoon and the evening. Potentially a strong line of thunderstorms is going to come through here. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center has placed us under a slight risk for any of those thunderstorms to contain some large hail or some fairly strong wind. So that is certainly something that we will keep an eye on. This morning, areas of fog, a little bit showery. Sunrise time at 7.04. We did have that time change. Yes. Right now, it's about a little after 4.30 in the morning, so if you didn't change those clocks, it's time. Uh, mainly cloudy. Uh, temperatures widespread around the area this afternoon. It's going to be much cooler right along the lakefront. Tomorrow morning is dry. Storms likely late in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow headed up into the 60s. Because we do have crews working on the inbound side. 
right around Nagel. They've got the right lane closed, and that means that the Nagel entrance ramp to the inbound Kennedy is also going to be blocked while they're doing that road work. It should be picked up by 5 o'clock. We can take a look at a snapshot of the Eisenhower. From Chicago, you're watching Judy Sue, Terrell Brown, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Barron's traffic. Is carrying out an attack on Kurdish militants and just a day after blaming them for a terrorist attack. Smugglers. Scientists are now working to use mosquitoes as a way, of all things, to fight the Zika virus in the U.S. Having a recall alert for one of the most popular electric vehicles in the U.S. I can see it would be Cousin Terrell knocking at the door, right? <laughs> <You know it. laughs> yeah. Good morning. Let's take a look at satellite radar imagery. And right now, here in the city, we're dry for a moment, but I do think we'll still see a few showers sneaking in. And mainly along and south of I-88 is where we are seeing these showers right now. They extend down in toward Kankakee and Mantino. And then, as you can see, we get out toward Plano right now through Mendota, and we do have some of that rain out that way, too. Temperatures are in the 40s in the area right now. We have still quite a bit of fog around, too. And today, kind of feeling soupy out there this morning. Our high temperatures will get into the 50s this afternoon, except Lakeside, much 20, and Route 83, very minor. Probably will be gone by the time you get out there, so no worries. Really, very, very hazy. We can't see our high tower cameras, but we can see our Tanya and Terrell. Thanks, Ross. Coming up on 450, and the Bears make another move in free agency to bolster their defense. Yeah, plus the bull. Good morning. I'm Dion Miller. The NCAA tournament field of 68 was leaked on social media Sunday night before the selection shows had revealed the entire bracket, but we shouldn't really be shocked. It is 2016. The drama tips off Tuesday in the first four games. We'll all be watching, despite the fact that Illinois has zero teams on the biggest stage. Cajun. Wow. The Bears continue to upgrade their defense through free agency Sunday, signing defensive tackle Akeem Hicks to a two-year deal. Ryan Pace familiar with Hicks, who he helped draft in New Orleans, keeping score at home. That's now three defensive starters signed this week. Wow. Where the Blackhawks need it right now. That's a look at sports. I'm Dion Miller. Have a magical Monday. I like that. Magical Monday. <laughs> Let's try at yeah. least. 454 and coming up at 5, we're getting new information on breaking news. Remote Kansas, the latest on the injuries and what may have caused the accident. Plus, political candidates descend on Chicago a day before the important primary. We'll talk all about it as the news starts now. No. Hey, good morning, everybody. Monday, I'm Terrell Brown. And I'm Tanya Babich and for Judy Sue. Let's get things started with a weather update from the Inch Takes a little getting used to, I will say that. Well, right now... Get used to a bit of rain in the area this morning here in the city. We're just about to get some more. Some rain sneaking right up along the Stevenson Expressway. So in the Summit area in Worth in Orland Park, we do have some rain there. We also have some heavier rain. Yorkville, Oswego now sneaking up into Aurora, too. Our temperatures are currently in the 40s, and we'll have your complete forecast coming up. Roz. Well, the roads are a little bit slick, and we had reports of a stall inbound on the Eisenhower near Holman. Once IDOT got on the scene, turns out it's two-car crash in the left center lane. So we could start to see a little bit of a backup at that location. But other than that, it's pretty quiet out there. Public transportation, no problems to report. Everything running on time on schedule for CTA, Metra, and Pace. Terrell. Roz, at 458, we are following breaking news. New information coming in on... Diane Pathy was live from Union Station. Diane. And Terrell, talk about a fluid situation. The number of people hurt keeps increasing as the morning progresses. Right now, we have 20 passengers that are hurt and investigators already headed to the scene to try and figure out what exactly happened to cause that train to derail. It happened just after which, by the way, another train is helping those passengers that were not hurt get here to Union Station in Chicago. The track, by the way, that that Amtrak train was riding on is owned and operated by BNSF, and as I mentioned, investigators are on their way there to try and determine what exactly happened at last count this morning, which was right around 4 o'clock. We heard that 20 passengers were injured after this train derailment. Reporting live outside of Union Station, Diane Pathew, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Diane, thank you, and we're one day away from the primary, and the presidential candidates are working to win your... Right here in Illinois today, Clinton is expected to be here in Chicago in the West Town neighborhood. Online 24-7 on our Nightline Facebook page and at abcnews.com. Good night, America.